Hi right, everyone, Andy here, just a very short uh, vlog. Um, after the embarrassment of my last vlog, where I showed that tray full of minis, all poorly based and thrown in there, I've decided to base them. So I've just used some uh, AK-47 uh, desert stuff to remount these guys onto round bases. So these are French Foreign Legion troops, uh, Légion Étranger. From uh, I think they're from Guernsey Foundry, which was a subsidiary of War Games Foundry or bought up by War Games Foundry uh, from probably early 2000s. They did this Cameroon set or French in Mexico set, so this is what this is. It's quite a lot of them actually. Um, surprised how many there are. What's that? Probably about 25 30. Um, I painted these ages ago. I'm not sure. I'm in two minds whether my paintings got better or got worse over the years. Um, these are probably going to have been painted, yeah, 15 years or so. So finally, they might get some action on the table. I'm thinking of perhaps using them for uh, Rebels and Patriots. Uh, probably the most likely thing to actually get them down. Um, so you can see a variety of French uniforms, and then we've sort of adaptations for the hot climate in Mexico with lots of um, blankets, lots of hats, a few Havelock hats as well in there, somewhere in her epaulettes. Some not. Uh, there's even a few special characters. I can't remember all of the names of the lieutenants, but that's Capitaine Danjou. And you can see he has one normal hand and one brown hand because he only had one hand. He lost one in the Crimea, I think. Uh, and if I'm correct, in Marseille, in France, where the French Foreign Legion is based, they still have a Cameroon day where they bring out his hand. <laughs> His wooden one, of course, um, and have a celebration and remembrance of that. So Cameroon was uh, a, it was a French expedition to Mexico to well, it's all a bit dubious really to a colonial escapade to remove the legally um, appointed president um, Juarez and the French, under the auspices of trying to claim back money they were owed basically invaded and tried to put a puppet uh, king on the throne, uh, Archduke Maximilian of Austria. Didn't go well for him, he ended up getting killed by a firing squad. The French ended up leaving him in the lurch, uh, and it was a sort of a rather failed colonial escapade um, from French Second Empire, Napoleon III. Cameroon was a relatively large... Um, Hacienda, I guess, um, out in the distant land where um, a company of French Foreign Legion were marching past and they got attacked by little thousands of um, Mexican cavalry and um, sort of uh, not regular, irregular, so irregular cavalry. Uh, and they hold up there and nearly everybody was killed. I think a half a dozen or so survived. I'd have to double check that. Um, and so that's what this represents to some extent. And of course they need some opponents. So I have based a whole bunch of my Mexicans. I have lots more of these actually. These are again a mixture of Foundry, both War Games and Guernsey Foundry from their Maximilian Adventure range and also from a similar complementary range. So you could use these for, um, a lot of these you could use for Mexicans for Old West games as well. And they're mostly um, sort of gaucho types. Uh, also with some villagers and there's some more villagers, unarmed villagers and then there's a few regular troops coming in here so those in the official blue uniform with the shako and in the more undressed uniform here with the white uh, uniform and the kepi and lots often wearing sandals the Mexican soldiers actually who's more comfortable and presumably shoes didn't last so well in the uh, hot climate uh, yeah so you know, just an opportunity to put loads of these back on, tidy them up, bring things out of the cupboard that have been sat there for a long, long time. Uh, so I need to do more of that because otherwise I'll never hit the table and that would just be sad. So thanks very much for watching, guys. Uh, take care and see you next time. Bye.